I am very much happy to welcome you all this optical fiber communication lecture series. Under the unit 4 title as optical receiver measurements and coupling, let us discuss second half of the fourth unit, alternation measurement concept. This disclaimer is applicable to all the listeners, those who are all listening in online platform. After listening this video or lecture series, students may, may to be understand about fiber optic attenuation measurement process. Now let us discuss the attenuation measurement uh, unit. A commonly used technique for determining the total fiber attenuation per unit length is cut back or differential method. Fiber attenuation measurement uh, you measured by using following steps. First one is total fiber attenuation, second one is attenuation spot measurement, third one is insertion loss measurement, fourth one is fiber absorption measurement, fifth one is fiber scattering loss measurement. This is our five total fiber attenuation measurement block diagram. White light source is used in this uh, experimental. It may be uh, manifest by uh, xenon light source. That light source keep on emitting light signal. Those light signal may be different uh, wavelength. Also, it has been different level of brightness. In order to improve that brightness level or in order to improve their luminescent process, uh, concerned, we have been placed lens over here in between chopper and white light source. The purpose of chopper is uh, to vary the light source according to our requirement. The, uh, then uh, the same chopper also connected to lock-in amplifier to give the input pattern of in that uh, lock-in phase. Then the, we, have, we have been used for monochromator over there. The purpose of monochromator is to act as a prism to make, this, make, to make the scattering of that process. Then the scattered signal is given to lens. The, uh, in that lens uh, acting as a filter to remove the unwanted noise and improve the light signal quality. And then uh, we are using order sorting filter. Uh, the purpose of order sorting filter is uh, permitted to certain range of signal in which order it has to go then followed by we are using view optics uh, block in that block itself we came to analyze that fiber optic uh, inside the fiber optic cable the signal propagate in which mode which is the type of propagation it takes whether optical uh, line of sight propagation or axial type propagation or skew ray propagation or meridional ray type of propagation those kind of things are viewed or measured in that viewed optics power by using reference signal, we can easily identify the noise, unnecessary content, uh, content signal. Those signals are rectified by using those things. Then we have we use objective lens once again improve the brightness level and then uh, suppress the noise. Then it is given to uh, mode scrambler unit. That mode, uh, because of the different range of signal, it produces different output or it produces different time delay. In order to making uniform output, we have been used for mode scrambler. Then followed by we have we are used for the striper. The purpose of stripe is to remove the previous uh, light signal storage in the optical fiber it, because it caused uh, some losses. Then followed by we use the cloud mode striper. The purpose of cloud mode striper also to remove the unwanted noise signal. Then it, it has, the fiber has been connected to index matched photo detector. That index matched photo detector uh, purpose is to match the fiber optic cable refractive index for the purpose uh, outside of the fiber optic cable and then fiber core clad part we apply some resin adhesive material then uh, you can easily match the index match uh, refractive index then followed by that index match the signal is given to lock in amplifier in that lock in amplifier block already their input pattern is recorded now that output signal and then input pattern also compared if there are any mismatching process or any noises are available means those things are all come that lock in amplifier and further it is recorded to recorded unit and given to concern user here. Chop light is fed through monochromator which is utilized the uh, prism. Diffraction grating is arrangement to select required wavelength which is attenuation to be measured. Hence the light is filtered uh, before you being focused onto the fiber means of microscope objective lens. A beams filter may be incorporated before fiber provide the light uh, for viewing optics and reference signal used to compensate the output power fluctuations. 
when the measurement is performed in the on multi mode fiber it is very dependent on the optical launch conditions therefore unless the launch optics are arranged to give steady state modes distribution at the fiber input or dummy fiber is used to for the scrambling process we already seen that uh, purpose of scrambler is to produce uniform output in the presence of different variations uh, as like model delay time delay scrambler uses to produce uniform output and intensity profile it ensures the distributions improve the reproducibility reproducibility in the sense so once they remove the noise signal means the structure getting very so also we make uniformity of the structure the fiber is also usually put through the cladding mode striper which may consist of an s shape grow cut in teflon and filled with glycerin striper some unwanted light may be present in the fiber core it spoils the beam quality striper acts as a mode cleaner it will remove the unwanted light polymer coated around the clad it will avoid the core clad optical power scattered then optical power at the receiving end the fiber is detected using pin or avalanche photodiode in order to obtain reproducible results the photodiode surface usually index match to the fiber output and end phase epoxy resin and index match gel used finally the electrical output from the photodiode is fed to the lock in amplifier that output which is recorded the fiber is then cut back 2 meter from the input end maintaining the same launch condition another set of fiber output measurement is taken this is our relationship between optical attenuation and uh, per unit length which is represented as the equation alpha decibel equal to 10 10 uh, 10 divided by l1 minus l2 log log by to the base log p0 p0 divided by p0 l1 and l2 are originally can cut back length respectively p0 1 and p0 are output optical power which is the specific wavelength thank you